This video is going to be Suds Part 2. And if you're wondering, I deleted the other video, if you might have seen it, because it wasn't up to a good enough standard to teach people. So I'm going to be doing this one, and I'm going to make a few little changes. Here's one rules here, which we're going to be using in this video. First, we're going to use rule 1. First example here. This is root 20 over root 5. Notice we can simplify that to north root 5's cancel and we'll have to root 4, which is 2. That's one way of doing it. There's obviously a few different ways, but I'm sure you could work them out. Okay, next example we're going to use rule 2, this one here. So what I'm going to do is, I've got 1 over root 3. It says you take the normal thing and this will end of then times it by the same root over the same root. In other words, that. So multiply the top and bottom, we'll get root 3 over 3. And that's what answer. Next one, we're going to use rule 2 again. It's going to be 2 over 3 root 6. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 2 over 3 root 6. I'm going to times it by just the root over the root. So on the top here, I'm going to get 2 root 6. And on the bottom you need to be careful. You've got a root 6 times a root 6. That's 6 times the 3 is 18. And then we can cancel this factor of 2 here. I'm going to be left with root 6 over 9. Now I don't cancel the number under the square root here because that wouldn't do. That would make it a different answer. This is a simplified version of that, but if I took the fact out this underneath the square root, it would be wrong. So we can take the ones in front of the square root but not the one underneath the square root. Whenever we'll factor them out. Next, last two here, we're going to use this rule, rule three. So I've got two over root seven plus root three. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to change the sign like it says in here. So I'm going to do root 7 minus root 3. And if you put the same thing on the top, then this is equivalent to 1. Because remember when you learned fractions in school, if you had one number over another number, it was equivalent to 1. Right, so now we're going to multiply top and bottom. Top, we'll get 2 root 7 minus 2 root 3. Bottom here, we we'll get root 7 and root 3 there, then we we'll get a minus root 3 and a minus root 7, those cancel. Root 7 times root 7 is 7, and root 3 times minus root 3 is minus 3. So we've got 7 over 7 take away 3, which is 4. And then again we can take out the factor of 2, then we'll be left with root 7 minus root 3 over 2. That's what answer for that one. And finally, a nice challenging problem like you would expect to see in your exam. Here I've got root 11 minus root 7 over root 11 plus root 7. I'm going to times it
Polly Dot. Okay, so what do we get here? Well, we got a minus uh, root 77. We got a minus root 77 on the bottom here. Those cancel, as usual. That's the idea of this technique here. Um, we got root 11 times root 11. That's 11. And we've got root 7 times minus root 7. That's Seven minus seven, that's eleven minus seven, that's four. Now on the top here, we've got that. We've also got that. Now if you notice, those are both minus root seven times root eleven. So we've got minus root seven times root eleven. That's. 77 and we've got two of them so we've got two lots and here we get 11 so we've got 11 we've got minus 2 root 77 and then we've got minus 7 and a minus 7 here I mean a minus root 7 and a minus root 7 that's 7 and then Basically now, let's come over here with it now. So we've got 11 plus 7, that's 18, minus 2 root 77 over 4. And again, we can take out the common factor of 2, so then we'll get 9 minus root 77 over 2. That's my final answer. Okay, and that's the most challenging problem you might see on, this, on your C1 exam, if you're doing that. Now, in the original video that some people might have watched, I had three other examples. Now, if you like, you can do these three problems as a little exercise. So, if you want, you can pause the video and have a go at these problems and now I'll write down the answers for you the answer to this problem here is going to be um, 3 root 5 over 5 the answer to your next problem is going to be 1 minus root 5 over minus 4 And the la answer to your last problem is going to be 7 minus 2 root 10 over 3. Okay, so that's some useful practice for you if you had to go at those problems. And remember, if you ever want any more practice, there should be some in your book. Or you can always get some exam papers. And those are basically the rules you need to use for rationalising the denominator. And if you've got any questions you can leave them on my video and I'll reply.